Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. You've heard me mention methylation plenty of times before, so today I wanted to dive into what exactly methylation is and why it's so critical for optimal health. I'm also going to show you why and how certain nutrients like the B vitamins, which are so essential for methylation, work so closely together. Methylation happens when a molecule called a methyl group is added to another substance like DNA or a protein, and the addition of this methyl group enhances and largely activates the substance it's added to. Methylation is essential for genetic expression, stress response, brain activity, and even the body's response to viruses. Methylation is especially critical in the liver, which utilizes methylation as one step towards neutralizing and excreting countless toxins. So as you can imagine, methylation has a close working relationship with our master detoxifying antioxidant, glutathione. So maintaining a balance between these two protective forces is obviously essential throughout life. Luckily, both glutathione and methylation are facilitated by some of the same essential nutrients. The B vitamins are especially critical, particularly the methylated forms of B12 and folate. You know these better as methylcobalamin and methylfolate, respectively. And these two B vitamins, more than any other, facilitate the shift between methylation and glutathione production. As we all know, vitamin B12 is found abundantly in animal-based foods, so for vegans, daily B12 supplementation is necessary. B12 donates a methyl group to homocysteine, ultimately converting homocysteine back into methionine. Methylfolate is the most active form of folate, otherwise known as vitamin B9. And methylfolate donates a methyl group to B12, thereby enhancing the absorption of B12. Methyl B12 is essential for the body's synthesis of DNA, RNA, and the formation of new red blood cells, along with countless other physiological benefits. You've probably heard of the famous gene mutation, MTHFR, or methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase by now. This is a gene mutation that can lead to elevated homocysteine in the blood and excessively low levels of folate and other nutrients. Ordinarily, the MTHFR gene facilitates the body's production of the MTHFR protein, which itself is essential for the assimilation of folate. Vitamin B2, or riboflavin, is also necessary for the MTHFR gene, as the MTHFR enzyme actually contains riboflavin. So maintaining optimal intake of vitamin B2 is necessary. And a deficiency of riboflavin can greatly impair glutathione production throughout the body also. You should also be taking some trimethylglycine, or TMG, which is a safe methyl donor that is already well known for supporting balanced methylation. A standard dose for methylfolate is usually around 400 micrograms, although I've seen it as high as 1,000 micrograms also. There are some side effects associated with methylfolate, like headaches, anxiety, joint pain, insomnia, and depression. So if you're experiencing any of these side effects, you might want to start with a much lower dose, like around 200 micrograms. Also, niacin, otherwise known as vitamin B3, is well known for its methyl consumption effect, so taking niacin in conjunction with a full B complex and any additional methylfolate will actually greatly reduce these unpleasant methylfolate side effects. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.